Close your eyes, watch your breath. When you breathe in, think of the breath coming into the whole body. The energy that is in the nerves, think of it all flowing smoothly all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. You want to fully inhabit your own body. Be aware of the whole body as you do this. That helps you keep you settled here in the present moment. Because when your awareness gets very small, it can slip off, off to the past, off to the future. But if you're fully here in the body, it's hard to move away unless you shrink your awareness again. So try to keep your awareness as full in the body as you can, and let the breath bathe the whole body. This protects you in a lot of ways. It protects you from wandering off, and also protects you from the diseases going around. What kind of diseases? Well, there's the disease of greed, and the disease of anger, and the disease of delusion. Those are the big ones. We tend to pick up other people's moods. It's as if they were handing us some rotten food, and they, we would just very quickly take it and gobble it down. And then we get the same disease as well. In other words, they come at, at us with anger, and we just pick up the anger from them and spit it right back. And that's not good for anybody. We have to learn how to resist these diseases, build up your resistance to these diseases. People some, hand you something that's tainted, okay, you don't take it. That's the basic thing. In other words, they, when they come to you with anger or they come to you with a bad mood, it's as if they're handing you this food and, and you have the choice not to take it. But all too often we just take whatever people throw at us, whatever people offer to us. And you've got to realize you've got to be selective. But then there are other things sometimes it's not quite so obvious, and this is why you need more subtle protection. This is where the breath comes in, when you fully inhabit the body. It protects you from other people's negative energies. If you leave parts of the body exposed, in other words, parts where you're not paying attention to that part of the body, it can pick up, pick up those energies, and then you suddenly find those energies in you. And you wonder why your mood has changed, you wonder why you're not feeling so well. You've picked up stuff from other people. This is especially true when you're talking to somebody that you feel sorry for. If you want to be compassionate, you think, well, I'll just soak up some of their energy, but it doesn't work that way. They still have the same amount of bad energy they had before, and now you've got some of theirs too. So one of your best protections is staying with the breath, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, all the way through the body, down to the fingers, down to the toes. Try to keep this as your foundation to protect yourself from the diseases that are going around. You've got to build up your resistance, and you also have to learn how to watch, off, watch out for your eating habits. There was that flu that went around a couple years back, and it was they attributed it to just the fact that people were touching things and their hands were getting infected, and then, then they got into their food. And so in the same way, you go around, you pick up this, pick up that from other people, and suddenly you realize, okay, you've got a disease inside. You. Anger has taken over. Greed has taken over. Delusion has taken over. And you wonder where it came from. And part of it comes from outside. Of course, part, the major part comes from within. We're just all too ready to pick up these things. We don't put up any resistance at all. So you've got to develop your resistance here. Part of it is the working with the breath, and part of it is developing the, the realization that you don't have to pick up other people's moods, and that these are not moods you want to act on. There are better things that you can focus on. That's another reason why we work with the breath, to give you another choice, give you another alternative. So instead of taking other people's anger and making it your own, you can just let it fall right there at your feet. They say something really nasty, just let it fall at your feet and leave it there. You don't have to pick it up and swallow it. As John Lee used to say, when people say bad things to you and you take them and think about them a lot, it's like they spit out some food on the ground. Then you go down and you eat it. You say, who's the stupid person there? Well, you're the stupid one. You went down to eat something that you know was not good. So be very careful about what you pick up from others. Just because someone is angry at you doesn't mean you have to return the anger. You have to pick up the anger and make it your own. Let it just stop right there. That way you benefit, the people around you benefit as well. 